Hey everyone, it's me Elias again and uh, welcome back to a new video on you my YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about uh, SharePoint lists and Power Automate again, but this time will be shorter and it will only contain one topic which uh, I get asked a lot and that is the new experimental features in Power Automate and comparison to the old filter query for SharePoint gate items to the new one uh, in the experimental features. So um, yeah, enjoy the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to the channel. So if you remember our last video, uh, we spoke about having a milestone tracker, a SharePoint list where you can track project related milestones. And uh, if you want to send a weekly report to your manager or to your boss uh, with, with a bunch of milestones, I would always recommend to use a filter based on the criteria, for example, milestone value above one, um, I don't know, 1,000 or 2,000, uh, it depends on the values you, you're using, uh, or based on the project name, maybe he only wants to see uh, or she wants to see um, a report on a on a from from a specific project that's currently running, and to do that you can use Power Automate, of course. And to filter, then in Power Automate you have to use a filter query. Using the filter query, it's not as simple as you think. I mean, it is easy, but it's not as simple. You cannot just put the pro the column name, for example, project space name, into the filter query and then write uh, the filter query. Uh, short um, yeah, filter, EQ, for example, equals, um, and then put the value. You have to know what Power Automate sees in the back end and then put that column name as a filter. And to do so, you have to go into your SharePoint list and then find out what Power Automate sees. You can do that by clicking on the settings gear on the top right corner of the screen, then list settings, make sure you are in the list you want to filter, and at the bottom, you can see there are columns. And if you go click on project name, you will see in the URL what Power Automate sees. And that's it. And that's this one, project underscore x0020 underscore name. Again, exactly, that's the column name we need to put into Power Automate filter query. So let's copy that and jump to Power Automate. So if you remember from our last video, we used here this, um, we built here this Power Automate uh, flow to send a weekly report to the manager. And we used the filter query to filter on my milestone value. If we would uh, filter on our project name, we'll have to put the project name and then equals the name of the project. In this case, I think is control so hashtag one. So that would be how we can filter then now on 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 the project name. But there is also a so-called uh, experimental features in Power Automate. I would not recommend you to use that in a in a production environment since those are features that might break or go away. Maybe Microsoft decides differently and doesn't want to use them. But uh, for testing purposes, that's uh, won't harm anybody. So because we're here testing, uh, we can go on and do that. And to do so, you have to go to the settings here, the top right corner of the screen, click on view all power automate settings and activate the experimental features. As you can read here, Microsoft warns you again, click on save and then reload. So it's going to move the changes that we did. And then if you click on get items, show advanced options, and that didn't work. So now if you click on get items, show advanced options, as you can see here, now it looks different. The UI is different. Now you can just use the drop down to select the column. You don't have to think what Power Automate looks 
at and uh, how how the column is named, the backend, and so on. And also the the filter in itself, it's it's also a drop down. You select now greater than equals. You don't have to write EQ or GT for greater than, and the value can be uh, dynamic or manual. That that hasn't changed, but it's it looks now more more uh, yeah user friendly. So that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you liked it. Um, give it a thumbs up if you do so, and make sure you subscribe to the channel. And uh, see you on the next video. Cheers. Take care.